YouTube, this is my set review. I said I would do one around Christmas time because that's when I will get more Lego sets. And it's not necessarily around Christmas time because it's January the 16th, but it's close enough. And the review three sets. This is the first one. This, the next one's going to be the Lego City Airport Terminal. And then the one after that one is going to be the Super Lift Volcano Helicopter. Now, if I can get 10 likes on this video, then I just might do another review. But guys, gotta give me 10 likes. Anyway, going on. Um, we continue with this review. By the way, this is Dog Gamer 22, not my dad, who sells his channel. Anyway, so this is a pretty nice set. Retail price is about 120. I think it's worth. I think it could be a little bit lower, but you know, they like, gotta make a profit off their Lego, so it's a little bit higher. But anyway, so let's get right into this. So first, we have six minifigures. Our my favorite. I lined them up. Is this heat suit guy? He is someone who's gonna be right up there on the volcano. He's in a special metal heat suit. And um, he's the only one that wears this heat suit. Then, this is what in most of these Volcano series are a man or a woman dressed up in a classical suit with um, oxygen tanks. They're going to be near the smoke and stuff. So, we have, a, we have a woman. And we have a man. And they both have the same print with the yellow rope. And then on their back it's the same thing. Then we have kind of an explorer, but he's rocking the Indiana Jones hat here. He's got some walkie-talkie and rope. His back print, he's got the volcano symbol right there that we see on our vehicles and the people. We've got another explorer guy, but he's got, a, he's just got the same thing, blue jeans, some um, same torso print. Just he's got a baseball cap and a different face. And then we have our female scientist here. She's wearing a nice lab coat. And she's got that hair dripping down from the helmet. That piece right there, it comes off in all just one piece. It's not two pieces. Pretty nice. Moving on, we get four lava rocks. Each one of them contain crystal. And our accessories are we get a remote control. We get a metal detector. We get two picks and we get an extended camera. And one of the things I want to mention about these pigs is that these pigs, right here, these two things, are the exact same things that are in the Ice series. The Ice series was about a year or two ago, and these pigs are the same ones that came with the Ice thing. They're called Ice Pigs. I thought it was ironic that they're using the same pigs they used in the Ice series, because this is kind of lava slash fire, so opposites. Anyway, so... Now I'm going to talk about it. You're right. Why is there a remote? Well, this remote controls our first vehicle, the Sky Drone. And in the box, this guy right here is the one that controls the Sky Drone. It's got a nice little base hole cap. But you can have any of them do whatever you want them to do. So, it's not a quad captor. It's only got three blades, not four. It's got a nice little cameras on top. And it's a, it's a nice little small build. It's It's good. And so our remote can go back and forth, and you know he controls his sky drone, and you can take pictures. Especially a radio with a little joystick on it. Yes, basically, it's the, it's, it's just the radio piece with mm -hmm. a lever, like a piece put on to, mm -hmm. to one of the two studs. Next, our next vehicle is this thing, and mm -hmm. I'm going in these vehicles from biggest to small, from from smallest to biggest. So this is our little dump truck. You put whoever you want on the back of the truck and they drive around and then it's like a little dump truck beep but it's not you know this little two by it's this little two by four thing so that's that and then this dumps it into this which is this little holder that we are commonly seen got to give the rock, lava rock a little bit of help to get in there so we get this nice little holder that's got some different rock patterns around the edge and this will hold your rock in place and then while your rock is being held in place, um, our next biggest vehicle is this <coughs> rock chopper, which is, this is a lot similar to the um, volcano crawler set, but it's not the same. The volcano crawler set is a different one, but comes with basically the same thing. So this is a nice little, 
this whole arm moves multiple joints go all over the place do whatever angles you want this turns got those nice little treads this one actually moves quite well it's got these bulldozers here so if it runs into anything you can just push it out of the way and this one actually you know has the wheels on the bottom but these wheels are better than the normal wheels that they usually put on these things to make them smooth and not just the tracks there so this comes along and then you just push on down on this and it breaks the rock in one or two hits yep that's the um it's a little bit fragile because it's only connected by a couple of studs there but there we go yeah it's the volcano it's crawling oh it fell apart <laughs> not the most durable thing okay move on all right Moving on. Okay, yeah, fixed. Okay, fixed. All right, moving on. Getting all this out of the way. We have the main part of the reason why you would buy this is the volcano exploration. Now, this is caught. This is not the first thing. We have an ice thing that's actually just like this. And this is a lot like the ice set, except it's volcanoes. I mean, I wanted to actually. Yeah, this is just almost the same kind of the trailers, and these trucks are bigger and bulkier. So, anyway, this is the big semi that you get and it's got a little crane on the back here and this is like this is actually just on the ice crawler too i, I should have brought the ice crawler up here from my basement and compared the two they're very similar um anyway so that's this is this and you get this little thing in here and this can kind of go on here and you can pick up your lava rock and then put it right here and I want to mention something. I altered this truck a little bit and it's building. Usually this crane piece the right here, these two bars are up one. And then there's a black, there's a black one by two um, smooth piece and against the back of the truck. And that's there. So you have to put your lava rock here. And the only part, the reason why I moved it is because if you try to hook up a truck, it doesn't work. It breaks the truck. So... That way you can't carry the lava rock and the truck on the same thing. And that kind of leads to some problems. So what I did, I just did that and then you move the rock one step over and it will work just fine now. No problems will occur. I have a little semi, we got some very nice detail on the front. I like the way that they got this hood like a rough truck. You know, they got these pieces very, very off off-road semi so now i have the trailer and it comes with this little piece down here which is basically what holds it from tipping over nice little addition and if you want you can keep this i mean if you typically you lose these pieces because you take them off when they're driving and then you forget where they are and you lose them my solution to this is that when you have it like this <clears throat> when you're ready to drive you just flip it up like this and then when you're putting it down, just flip it down like this, and you've got your thing. Anyway, so, got some compartment on the front. Got a crowbar here. I'm not sure why they have a crowbar. I don't know. And a little satellite dish on the top. And a jackhammer over here. Um, not very much. Not too much detail. Some tanks, oxygen tanks right there. You know, but on the inside, both of these sides flip up. They're both connected, and we got a little seismograph. If you don't know what a seismograph is, it's this machine that detects tremors in the ground, and it writes out a line, and if there's a big tremor, the line will go up and down. And if you can kind of see it in there, I'm not sure if you can see it, the lines are going up and down. So we got a crystal in here, and they're examining it by a microscope, and this is a coffee cup, and this is where the scientist typically is in here doing her studies on this mobile base. <laughs> she fell out. So, yep, there's an antenna in the back. Hey, can I, can I, oh. is a good view? Try to get maximum light. Okay, antenna on the back. And there's a little antenna sticking out the back. Uh -huh. And so, and that loops up back here. And you're ready to go. And our last, but not least, final feature is the volcano. This is a really, really nice volcano. I have a custom volcano that you will see when we do reviews on the city. But that will be done soon. But I have to give it some time. And um, 
almost done, almost. Missing one more, one more key component. Anyway, so this volcano is, it's very bulky, but it's got this feature that this lever in the back here, you flick it up and you can see that trap door coming up. So the purpose of that is I'm gonna take one and you can, you know, kind of fit two in there, but not really, it's kind of hard to fit two in there. And I'm gonna only do one, cause, and then you take this lever back here and you flip it and your volcano here then goes flying. And if you want, you could like stick up them like this and then put the other two around here and then flick it and have them all go flying all over the place and have a massive eruption. But you know, that's that doesn't mean you have trouble picking them up. So now I'm going on. That is basically the set. I am going to try to do the airport on Wednesday. It's a set number. And this is number 60124. I'm gonna to try to do the airport on Wednesday. Do the uh, do the heaven of helicopter on Friday, so be watching for those. I'll also be get those up and going to YouTube. And thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, 10 likes, and we review one more set. And thank you for watching. Goodbye.